What is going on guys, Mobile Carry News here, and I'm making this quick video regarding low band. Now, T-Mobile is of course the leader in 5G. Um, of course, it's pretty obvious. Uh, AT&T is coming. I don't know if AT&T or, T or Verizon or I don't know who's second to be honest. Because we see coverage in better areas of AT&T, but then I'm looking at coverage better areas of Verizon. But then again, Verizon, sorry, AT&T is catching up with more 5G spectrum. Not a lot like T-Mobile. But it's getting there slowly. We all know how the carriers are. But <clears throat> I want to talk about low band. Because that's what that's what AT&T and... Uh, no, that's what Verizon and AT&T do not really focus on. And it's kind of worrying some because customers like myself and all the customers that follow me that are have AT&T. Um, if both carriers can't provide good... Um, if they can't provide good low band 5G... Like in my like in my like in my apartment for example, I have good five G right now. You see, that's three bars. I can get up to about, I think, um, hundred and something megabytes per second. But when I walk outside, like in it's like in my um, in my lower end apartment, when I walk outside, when I'm in my living room, when I'm in you know the either using the anywhere like just not in my room. It's, um, low band is just not good. Even though my whole area is almost covered with 5G, I can almost get good 5G access, you know, pretty much everywhere. Their low band is not good. So, hopefully they improve that. Um, either, either Verizon and AT&T do not focus enough on low band 5G spectrum. Or even, uh, I know they focus a lot on mid band and high band. But low band is not really addressed that much. And it's kind of disappointing. Um, not sure how they're going to handle that. Hopefully they, you know, get their act together when fixing that because it's just low band. It's just, it doesn't, it's not good. High band is only good when you're outside or, you know, in a good area, but just low band inside or inside a building, like at my work, um, inside, um, a restaurant where I go to eat inside a Starbucks, their low band is just not good. And, um, that's kind of worrisome, you know, hopefully they improve in the future. Um, not really sure how they're doing because almost my whole area is, has 5G. But when I go inside a building, their 5G either cancels out, goes to LTE, or it's very weak. It's like 5 to 20 megabytes per second. So hopefully they, I, uh, hopefully they improve it. I know, this, I know this is from 2020. It's about a year old, but, I, but I'm just talking about now in the future. I really think Verizon and AT&T should really focus on their low band because if they just focus on high band that's great but low band people are going to struggle like if you're there inside how are they going to get signal or even some 5g signal alone yeah we'll get some lte here and there but they really got to focus on their low band because they're de they're either they're going to struggle because t-mobile has more low band than high band it works in the my, verizon's low band works in the theaters but not everywhere else that's the issue that i find they have to fit they have to they have to make speeds just as good in the theater as anywhere else. It'd rather be in your own work, in a building, restaurant, anywhere. They had to. They have to improve it. Let me know what you guys think about this. Hope you guys enjoy this video. Subscribe for more videos like this, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.